Hello, everyone. Welcome to my Sister Wives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Before their lives became public again, some members of the Brown family got back together for a mini reunion to honor the memory of the late Garrison Brown. Sister Wives might be back for the next season shortly. Due to the difficulties that have befallen them in recent years, Cody Brown's children from previous relationships, Roman, Janelle, Christine, and Mary Brown, have been more estranged from one another than ever before. Even though some family members haven't been able to make it, the Sister Wives gang has pulled together in a lovely way in the days leading up to the premiere of season 19. While the last four seasons of Sister Wives have concentrated around Christine, Janelle, and Mary leaving Cody after over 30 years of marriage, the forthcoming season of the show will focus on something even worse. Christine made the difficult decision to end her marriage to Cody in season 17 of Sister Wives, but she never thought Janelle and Mary would follow her example. After a heated dispute in the early episodes of Sister Wives season 18, Janelle and Cody divorced, while Mary's marriage to Cody had been slowly eroding for years before she ultimately left. On a 4th of July excursion, several Brown relatives got back together. Following a challenging year, the Brown family has been making the most of their time together. This included a holiday vacation that reunited Christine, Janelle, and a few of the Brown children. There were a few unexpected faces among the many brown youngsters who have never been seen in public before, even though not all of them went on the 4th of July vacation. Among those there were Janelle, Christine, David Woolley, and a number of brown children. The trip comprised Savannah Brown, Aspen Brown Thompson, Gwendolyn Brown, Truly Brown, Yisabel Brown, Maddie Brush, and Lan Brown, along with several of their significant others? Following the tragedy, the Brown family has become closer. With Leon and their spouse, Audrey Chris, present for the trip, it was unusual for sister wives watchers to see so much of the family together. Although there was a rift in the Brown family over the past few years, the loss of Garrison has brought everyone back together, particularly during tough times. Celebrating a holiday together, the Browns on the trip were able to lean on each other during a day that reminds many of their youth, their childhood, and their family of origin. In the months since Garrison's passing, the Browns have been significantly more bonded. Some of the Browns memorialized Garrison with matching tattoos. Although the bulk of the Browns have been memorializing Garrison, some of the siblings have shared a quote online and now have been allowed to remember their brother with a symbolic tattoo. Using a quotation from the 1996 film Dragonheart, several of the Brown siblings received memorial tattoos for Garrison, getting inked with to the stars on their bodies. Janelle had published images of Gabe Brown's tattoo in the past, and in their tribute post for Garrison, Lena commented their photos of their brother with the same statement. The Sister Wives family has been maintaining close and going on together. A lot is going on in Janelle Brown's life. The Sister Wives star has encountered various hardships over the years. Despite leaving Cody Brown in 2022, her difficulties didn't end there. In March 2024, Janelle's son Garrison Brown tragically died by apparent suicide, leaving a tremendous grief in everyone's hearts. While he stays in their memory, Janelle has been seen trying to move forward. Sister Wives fans have long regarded Janelle as a career lady. Now, it seems she's working on making all her dreams come true. Whether it's spending more time with her kids or creating a business focused around her favorite activity, Janelle is making significant steps. Recently, a fan disclosed a stunning revelation about Janelle's life that left many admirers startled. So, what's Janelle's new big thing? Let's find out. Sister Wives, is Janelle living in North Carolina? Sister Wives star Janelle Brown regularly keeps her followers updated about the newest occurrences in her life, 
Whether it's her trip to Las Vegas for a plexus convention or a family vacation to Yellowstone. However, there might be certain things that Janelle hasn't mentioned yet. In a recent post on their Patreon account, Michael T. Brown and her husband, Tony Padron, disclosed something. It were the reasons behind their quick move to North Carolina. While completing their session, Michael T. expressed her satisfaction about being close to Janelle's household. Tony then revealed that Janelle was also living there. This seemed to be an unintended admission as Michael T. swiftly reminded Tony he wasn't supposed to say that. This slip-up suggests that Janelle might have moved to North Carolina, leaving her home in Flagstaff, Arizona. This is odd because Janelle recently opened a floral business registered in Flagstaff. It seems this knowledge was meant to be kept under wraps, maybe for a huge announcement in the upcoming season of Sister Wives. Fans are thrilled about this development. One Sister Wives fan said, I think Janelle could easily have a place in NC and split her time between Flagstaff and not really say she moved, but also basically living there more frequently and longer spurts of time. Another wrote, Everything Janelle has said on her social media was that she still lived in Flagstaff as her main hub and seemed to be constantly traveling as well but her moving to NC permanently would make sense depending on what Savannah and Gabe are doing. Sister Wives, Janelle Brown owns a business in Flagstaff. After parting from Cody, Janelle is now pursuing her aspirations and attaining new heights. The Sister Wives star is spending time with her family while turning her beloved pastimes into profitable career enterprises. Janelle, known for her passion for gardening, is currently working on a small cut flower company. According to recent reports, she has filed corporate forms to build a flower farm in Flagstaff. Fans always knew that Janelle has always revealed her dreams about gardening and farming. Thus, this can be her making her dreams come true. A Reddit thread gave more insights, revealing a screenshot of the Sister Wives star's flower business, Tata Farms, the official trademark page displays Janelle as the only owner, with Lee Freeman as her attorney. The application was apparently filed on February 28, 2024. It's been quite some time since Sister Wives viewers first learned Christine Brown wanted to leave Cody. The breakup was riddled with multiple low points, including Cody's infamous knife in the kidneys comment. Thankfully, Christine is in a much healthier headspace and relationship today. Fans adored witnessing her televised wedding to David Woolley. The couple usually go on pleasant adventures together, which is something Christine admitted she rarely did with Cody. Now, the Sister Wives star is reflecting on the darkest moments of her breakup and disclosing the musical artist that supported her through the terrible times. Christine Brown Woolley has tickets to see her favorite artist, Sister Wives fans know Christine Brown Woolley as a happy, bubbly one. That's why few seemed astonished to realize how much she adores pop music, including the artists P and K. We're going to see Pink. So friggin' stoked. At David underscore underscore Woolley has seen her two times already. I have an uplifting playlist that I would listen to every single morning in Flagstaff, and her songs comprised a majority of that playlist. The TLC star shared on Instagram recently. Fans shared their joy for Christine and David, leaving remarks including, You're gonna loathe it. Be aware though, this will set your concert bar VRA Kai G8. All others will pale in comparison. I'm lucky duck. Seeing her is on my bucket list. Hope you have a fantastic time. Christine, you were going to loathe her. I've seen her three times, and she is one of a frickin' kind. Your life is about to be eternally changed. Just saw her last Wednesday in Amsterdam. She puts on one great show. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.